Here's a question for you. How many times do you have to hit the mad dummy to win? If you asked me this question when I did the no dodging run, I would have said zero, because I never moved a soul and was able to beat the fight. But that's not quite correct, is it? Because even if you don't move, some of those bullets do still manage to stray into the dummy on accident. So, what if we just do the wrong thing completely and try to avoid hitting them? I know some of you think that no one would ever try this, but I have seen some very pacifistic players play this fight, believing that hitting the dummy with the bullets might ruin their pacifist run, so this is actually a very realistic play to make. But, to my great disappointment, Toby does not account for this scenario, and the fight will literally go on forever if you keep doing this. Or at least, it will go on for practically forever, you know, obviously I am not perfect enough to test it until the end of time. But anyway, how many bullets do you think it takes to win the fight? This is something I used to puzzle about for hours and hours, as I sat trapped in the no dodge run, because it often felt like the initial part of the fight was highly variable, while the last part of the fight was running on a script. So, what is even going on here? Well, it turns out, the way this works is. Stage 1, the cotton ball stage, is based on how much health the mad dummy has left. Once they're at 195 health, they move on to stage 2. So, the more of these cotton bullets that hit them, the more quickly they advance to stage 2. But once you get to stage 2, and they start firing these rockets at you, this stage will always be exactly 4 turns long. So, even though I've been in this fight for like, 50 turns, it's still going to take me a long time to get to the next stage, because aside from that one brief mistake near the start, I haven't hit them at all, so they still have all this health, or, not? Did you see that? I hit them with like, 4 bullets total, and the fight progressed. What in the heck? Is this a glitch? Nope. It turns out, Toby, in his infinite mercy, did account for the pacifist player's reluctance to harm the dummy, and so, after the first bullet hits them, they start losing a little HP every turn. After about 22 turns, their HP will be so low that they'll move on to the next stage of the fight, even if you don't hit them at all during that time. However, the check to determine if they've reached that point won't run until they get hit by a bullet again, twice. So, you could hypothetically get him much, much lower than that, without realizing you've met that threshold, if you keep dodging past that point. So the question now is, if their HP drops by 5 every turn after your initial attack, and the fight doesn't progress until you hit them again, could we kill the mad dummy in a pacifist run, just by refusing to attack them long enough? At first, I thought I would need to hack in some pretty great items to survive that long, but since the attacks never change under this setup, we can actually make a pretty reliable strategy by just dancing along the edges of the bottom left corner. So, let's see here. The mad dummy starts with 300 HP and loses 5 every turn. So, in theory, if we can just survive for 60 turns, they should run out of HP and die, right? But I know I don't have the attention span to track the turns for that long, so if it's all the same to you all, I'm just gonna tweak this little line of code here to display their HP outside of debug mode. Don't get mad, okay? Okay.
So, using this method to decrease their HP, we can see that. Um, did it just go into the negative? I didn't know that could happen. But, they should be dead, right? Maybe we need to hit them so the game will notice and recognize it? Hmm, no. What if we hit them with some of the bullets now? Will that work? Nope. But why? Well, it turns out. Are you ready for this? This variable here labeled HP? This is not really their HP. This is a variable specific to the mad dummy that's used to track how far you are in the fight. Their actual HP uses the variable global monster HP found in the monster setup data and it's set to 200, which means the Undertale wiki is actually wrong about this. Shock and horror. So, even if you hit them with every single bullet in the world, they won't die. And since they are literally immune to attacks, there is no way to kill the mad dummy. Or at least, none that I have found. But, I know why some of you are really here. You're wondering how many turns you need to survive in a stream plays Undertale session, right? Well, don't worry, I've got you covered. Presuming you hit them at all on the first turn, they will lose 5 HP each turn on their own. So, your best bet to ensure this happens is to mash up so that you are near the top of the screen. And then once that has happened, they will begin to take damage and move on automatically to the next stage by, at the very latest, turn 22. Although, you do need to get at least one hit off at that point in order to get the game to recognize this and proceed to phase 2, which is another 4 turns, giving you 26 total turns you need to survive, in the very worst case scenario. But, it probably won't take you that long. In normal play, it takes me about 11 turns, and even in a no dodging run, it takes about 13. If we take the turn average from Mystic Slime streams, it seems like stage 1 generally lasts around 14 to 15 turns maximum. Wait, does that mean I am barely better at this game than a bunch of lagging chatters mashing random keystrokes? Ah. Uh. Actually, on their winning attempt, Mystic Slime's chat got to stage 2 in only 12 turns. That's only one turn longer than my typical run. But what if the chat is super coordinated and does everything basically perfectly? What is the theoretical lowest number we need to beat this fight? Instead of trying to math this out. Or, get good. Let's instead look at speedrunner and current world record holder for the glitchless run, Shay. Looking at how fast he can beat it, it looks like this takes about 5 turns for phase 1 and 4 turns for phase 2, giving you 9 turns to survive total. So, that's not so bad. The real tricky part for a stream playing the dummy is going to be the last turn, as it not only lasts for quite a while, but you also have to dodge the knife and Napstab looks tears, so make sure you mash those Z and down presses. It would also be wise to stock up on bicycles and keep them in the box for safekeeping until you reach the nice cream man, because this is your last chance to withdraw any items from your inventory, presuming that level of coordination is even possible. I mean it's moot point now, since Mystic Slime's stream is now over. But, suppose it won't.